Hey everyone, so I want to talk to you today about the Golden Thread model. Concepts which I've been learning about within my coaching and mentorship uh, program that I've been training on. And the Golden Thread model is actually a really, really interesting model. If you're an organisation that's trying to grow or trying to set new targets and you're trying to get the whole team inclusive within this, and if you've had it in the past and you've struggled with that sort of thing, this video might be interesting for you as well. So, uh, say you wanted to grow your business from say half a million pounds to 600 grand in one year or two years, and that's your target. And ultimately you've worked out as an organization roughly how you might want, how you're going to achieve that as leaders. If you have management or senior management or within the leadership team, you'd all sit down together and go, right, this is our vision. And this is what we're trying to achieve from it. This is our metrics of roughly how we're probably going to achieve it. And everyone agrees within those departments, how they're going to contribute towards it. And they come up with how they think that they're going to do it. So say it's 600 grand and they said, actually, I reckon I could do 250 grand. You work out the strategies around how they feel that that's going to happen, not I'm just going to do it. So allow them to work out how their teams are going to perform to do that. And that's allow them to set their own tasks and challenges and effectively write how their department's going to work to achieve that ultimate goal. Then off the back of that, you're empowering your leadership team to make those decisions and make them feel like they control how their teams within your company. So they feel empowered as leaders. You're giving them more responsibility and accountability towards them, but also the respect that rather than just saying you need to book this many appointments, we need to do this much money, and they're thinking, how am I going to do this? So allows that, allows them to then rewrite their job description involved within achieving that because job subscriptions can change year on year. A job description you had five years ago doesn't necessarily mean that it worked well for the company today. And then, uh, then also within the teams, the people within the teams, the individuals within those teams, those leaders going down to those team members and saying, right, I've been in this leadership meeting. This is our ultimate goal. This is our vision. Like, as a department, I felt we could possibly achieve this. So let's sit down and work out whether this is achievable. And then speaking to individual members of that team, saying, right, how do you feel you could contribute towards this goal and how us in the overall organization's achievement of, of getting there to allow them to set their own targets within reason um, and allow them to write their job description based around it how their will their cog in that big machine is going to help them be accountable for that so not only that happens it also helps set their own targets as long as the targets are within the line with what you're trying to achieve as an organization and over the whole organization is trying to achieve, then though once those targets will fit in, at least you're still going to achieve it. So if you know if you're trying to achieve two hundred grand and that person said I can I want to make five grand this year, so it's not going to be happening. But what then it does, it empowers that member of staff, an individual member of team member, to then create become accountable for what they've said that they reckon they can achieve not you setting targets for them that they feel like disempowered within it and then you can allow to write their job description within that a job description in in the fact of like what they will do in their job day in day out to achieve that not my job description is i'm going to take two hours lunch so that as you then go through your one-to-ones within that you can then bring out those job descriptions they've rewritten and what they've said they're going to achieve and use that within your conversations around how you can support them, how you can, um, how they're accountable for it, what they what they said and what happened, where, where the differences are, or where the successes of the achievements are. But obviously, once you've then got what that member of staff's going to do, what the team's going to achieve and everyone's in agreement and then the organisation's happy with it and then everyone gets confirmed with every single job description, every single role within the company processes, then you at least you can then lead it with that direction. And by leading with that direction, then allows the whole company to feel empowered because the team members are accountable for what they said they're gonna do, it's written down. The leaders then can, of those teams, can then manage those problems that might occur, over expectations, uh, underestimate of stuff. And that's where coaching, having your management uh, having all outside coaches come into that effect because coaches can then come down and sit within those individual meetings mm -hmm. and really ascertain whether what they feel that individual that feel they can achieve goal wise is it really 
truly going to happen within the time constraints of how they looked into that. So that's where a coaching coaching culture comes really into it. And then once that's all agreed, obviously the whole organisation has got their vision, their ultimate goal, what each department's accountable for, and then what individuals are accountable within that within their leadership. So it creates a real good sense of coaching, mentorship and leadership, but also a whole different way of how a culture should work within an organisation towards moving in that new direction that everyone feels they're on going on the same journey with you and they feel a part of the whole team successes rather than top making up some figures and then just saying, right, you just got to do this and then thinking, well, how am I going to achieve that? It's un completely unrealistic. So it's all about having those interesting conversations, communications and having those sessions around how you can empower your team members within that. And that's the Golden Thread model.